here he is, the Big G's himself, Mickey Mouse! <laughs> hey, everybody! Welcome to the House of Mouse! Boy, being the host of your own show isn't easy, but this hat should help. Whoa! Huh? Oh, remind me to give those brooms the axe. Here you go, Herc. One hero to hero. Oops, don't move a muscle. I'll get that olive. Got it. Hey, you're an eyeball. We know. My olive. What a goofy hat. Gotcha, you pesky olive. Where'd it go? Dad, are you all right? Why wouldn't I be? You want an olive? Oh, don't pay any attention to them. But Louie's right, Dad. Donald does run the club, and Mickey, he's the host, but, but you, you just wait tables. So? So, head waiter's the easiest job, Dad. All you do is order around the penguins and read the funny menu. Funny menu? You know, baby hunchback ribs, Winnie the Poi, Lion King crab with zazucchini. Oh, have you know, I work hard on that menu. Then you take the food from the kitchen to the tables, uh -huh. and then watch all the guests eat. <laughs> it's easy. Anyone could do that, even me. Even you, huh? Then you're hired. What? Okay, everybody, for appetizers, <laughs> we're serving up a goofy cartoon. <laughs> The humble waiter, that most dignified of service professionals. Order potato tomato, gravy, butter, potato tomato, no tomato. Note the graceful movements as this culinary ballet unfolds before us. It takes years of preparation and training to sharpen a waiter's craft, pleasing each customer, keeping the orders separate, and delivering tasty dishes in a timely manner. All the while maintaining absolute poise and dignity. There's got to be an easier way to make a living. Unfortunately, this can become quite overwhelming. That's why some waiters become movie stars. Oh boy, a movie star. <laughs> That's for me. <laughs> oh. Preparation. An actor's skills rely on his ability to quickly and believably display a wide range of emotions. Such as anger, happy, sad, confused, hunger, disgust, love, pain, giddy, fear, affection, madness, empathy, boredom, fury, hyper, exuberant, jealous, maudlin, sorrow, joy, regret. And finally, unconsciousness. The actor's voice. Much like an artist uses a palette of colors to create a masterpiece. The actor relies on his voice to deliver dialogue. Oh, yum. <clears throat> How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood, I ask you. Well, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, Pilgrim? Moshi, woodchuck ka kiyo tabetara, dori gurai no kiyo tabereru kana? Having mastered the necessary skills, it is time to star in a movie. This costume, come on, the way. More makeup. But what kind of movie? The film genre. One choice an actor has is starring in a good old silent movie.
yippee ki yay The Western is another classic movie choice. The love story, a choice that is sure to win the hearts of many. Of chiller is a goose pimply way to scare up some stardom. Hey, it's me. The sci-fi epic offers a universe of out-of-this-world thrills. <laughs> In the end, hard work pays off. This is the evening every movie star dreams of. Awards night. The cream of Hollywood's elite come out to recognize the best stars in their most unforgettable roles. And the winner is... Goofy! Oh, I'd like to thank everyone for this award. Can I even wrote me a little speech? Time's up. And now all eyes turn to the silver screen in anticipation. This is it, the big scene, the one that created a movie star. Excuse me. Can I get some more coffee? Sure thing. You want cream? Now, wasn't it nice to get away from that boring day job? Take a bow, mister. You are a movie star. Quiet down. I've got an announcement. Dad, is this necessary? Sure. It's your first day on the job, following in your old man's footsteps. But you gotta wear your own shoes, because mine already got feet in them. <laughs> Today, Max is gonna be head waiter at the House of Mouse. So I want you all to make him feel welcome. Ha, ah, Max, that's great. Like father, like son. I wish you wouldn't say that. Waiting tables? That's a lot of work. Oh, you, I can handle it. So, is there any truth to the rumor that soon you'll be after Mickey's job? Huh? Max is after my job? Oh, what am I gonna do, Minnie? I don't know nothing but show business. It's my life. You gotta help me. Oh, relax, Mickey. It's just a rumor. Oh, huh. Good thing I don't listen to rumors. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Max. I'll be your waiter tonight, Mr. Zeus. Hades, love of the dead, how you doing? These are my minions, pain and panic. They'll be abducting you to the underworld tonight. Oh, no you don't. He's a good boy. You gotta be careful about that blue guy. He's pure evil. Oh, uh, no offense, Mr. Hades. Yeah, right. Now, come on, I'll show you the right way to wait tables. Dad, I don't want any help. Oh, that's right, because this is such an easy job, anyone could do it, even you. Well, have at it. Thank you, I will. One big beetle burrito for two. Gee, this must be the diet burrito. Diet? Are you calling me fat? It was in there a second ago. Yeah, like it just got up and crawled away on its own. Wait a second. It did get up and crawl away on its own. And it's on you! Huh? <laughs> Grab a book, Pumba, and follow me. There's a beetle burrito in there somewhere. Something wrong, guys? Aw, oh, is Max messing things up? You're hiding? 
if cartoons make you hungry, then you'll love this next one, because it's Hungarian. <laughs> So, uh, how are things going with Max? Genies, Franks, and Beanies go to Aladdin. Uh, Mulan gets the Great Wall of Chowder. <laughs> Maleficent, your bibbity bobbity stew's coming right up. Hey, Mr. Waiter Guy, we never got our burrito. But here's your underwear back. Once again, the Lion King! Oh, with extra needles! Waiter, the, the hair in my salad! Where's my chocolate mousse? I didn't order decap. Max, son, you okay? Ugh, I don't know how you do it, Dad. Good thing you're handling it yourself. You call this a good thing? Sure, goofing up builds character. I am not a goofer. Of course not. That's why you don't need my help. Well, that's the one thing I do need. Oh, no, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. And you're gonna help me right now. Okay, Max. Well, I got a little trick that makes the job easier. <clears throat> Table in the house, right next to the kitchen. 
<laughs> Al's about some water and breadsticks. Yes, please. Breadsticks for table 29! <laughs> We'll be right back to take your order. I'm ready to order, Donald. Could you get the waiter? Uh, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> excuse me. Hello? Excuse me. Hello? Ready to order? Um, I'll have the fish. Grilled or broiled? Grilled. Potato or rice? Rice. Soup or salad? Salad. Ranch or Caesar? Caesar. Croutons or bake a bit? Croutons! Okie doke, coming right up. Don't you want to write that down? Nope, I got it mesmerized. So, ready to order? Salad! Made fresh at your table by yours truly. wearing it. Bet you thought I was gonna drop them. <gasps> well, here's your check. Ma'am, I'll get that. Down, Daisy. Kebba, kebba. That does it. I've had it. I've never had such miserable service in all my life. Well, it's an outrage. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the worst service I have ever had. I think the last time I heard it. They sure are a perfect couple, aren't they? Max, you did a great job today. Dad gave me a 
few pointers. You two make a terrific team. That's my boy. Chip off the old block. <laughs> if you say so. Someday you'll have an important job like me. But I already have an important job. Parking cars. Oh, can't be that hard. Not like waiting tables. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> Mike, you know what to do. You got it, Mickey. Table waiting service provided by the Penguin Waiters. Yes, it's a jolly holiday when they take your order. You'll want to make sure and stay awake for their spoonful of sugar service. In every job they've done, they find an element of fun. And best of all, they work for just tuppence a day. Good luck will rub off when they wait tables for you. The Penguin Waiters. They're Chim Chimity Chim Chimity Chim Chim Terrific. Penguins may be off flying kites. So long, everybody. See y'all real soon. Folks, it's Goofy, and I want to say a special how you doing to my boy Max. Maxie, you're the greatest son a dad could have. Gorge, who knows what I'd do without Maxie? I better go ask him. Talk to you later, everybody. At the house of mouse.